You may be thinking whether it's a smart time to buy the iPhone 14 given that the iPhone 15 launch is soon here and the Apple event is scheduled for September 12th. After all, there are plenty of iPhone deals happening right now, and you already know that retailers and carriers will be attempting to get rid of stock before the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro launch. If money is limited, you may want to hold out and see what the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro have to offer. The normal iPhone 15 and 15 Plus are also tipped to offer a number of significant changes. The standard iPhone 15 is expected to include a primary camera sensor with 48 megapixels that is identical to or close to the one seen on the iPhone 14 Pro series from last year. As a result, the iPhone 15 will produce photographs that are clearer and brighter than the iPhone 14 did. The potent A16 Bionic processor from the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max will likely be used in the iPhone 15. Although it won't have the greatest power available, it should still outperform the majority of the finest Android phones. There are plenty of reasons not to buy an iPhone 14 right now, including the fact that the iPhone 15 series is tipped to offer a USB-C connection, which will replace the dated and unstable lightning port. Both the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are anticipated to switch from titanium to stainless steel sides. The inclusion of a new action button for the 15 Pro, which will reportedly replace the ringer or mute switch and do much more than just muffle noises, might be another very welcome design update. According to reports, you'll be able to launch the camera, switch on the lights, make voice notes, and use a variety of customized shortcuts. The 15 Pro series, which reportedly comes with an A17 Bionic processor, should satisfy your need for maximum speed. This is allegedly the first 3 nanometer CPU to be installed inside of a gadget in the world, which should translate into excellent performance and extended battery life. Regarding the cameras, the 15 Pro Max may offer a unique new periscope zoom that should increase the optical zoom from 3x to 6x or even more. In fact, Apple might elect to name the Pro Max the iPhone 15 Ultra, but that is still up in the air. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.